It is now three o'clock, just a few moments before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, would give his life for our sin. And yet we hear Jesus utter these two words from the cross, I thirst. This is perhaps the most difficult of all of the seven sayings of Jesus for interpreters to figure out what exactly was Jesus referring to and what message was he trying to communicate when he spoke the words, I thirst. There are several different possibilities that have been suggested over the years. The first possible interpretation is that this was just simply a fulfillment of prophecy. There's a scripture in the Old Testament in the book of Psalms, chapter 69, verse 21, which says, when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. And we know that whenever Jesus was on the cross at this point, they gave him vinegar whenever he was thirsty. And so many people see that Jesus speaking these words, I thirst, is really nothing more than a fulfillment of prophecy. If indeed this is a fulfillment of prophecy, then what we can learn here is the fact that even in the midst of the pain, in the midst of the difficulty, in the midst of the chaos that was going on in Jesus' life, his father was behind the scenes pulling the strings to make sure that this prophecy that was spoken before about his son would indeed come to pass. So what does this mean for you and I? Even in the midst of what may seem to be confusion and chaos and stress and anxiety and even my, maybe depression, we can rest assured that God is working things behind the scenes that you and I don't even realize and understand what he's doing to make sure that his perfect divine will in your life is going to come to pass. The second major interpretation of these words, I thirst, is a very simple one. Scholars just believe that maybe Jesus was crying out because of some sort of physical need. He was literally thirsty. And we know that because scientists have told us exactly what happens to the body in the midst of crucifixion. Your lungs start to collapse and your heart begins to fail, resulting in extreme dehydration. And it's at this point that Jesus is saying, I can't breathe, I'm, I, I'm struggling, I'm, I, I'm on this cross and, and I just need a little water, I, I'm thirsty. And no matter how much water they gave him in that moment, it would not have been enough. Why? Because in that moment, even though in his humanity, he was thirsting for something physical, what he needed in that moment was help from on high. And you know what? There are a lot of things in our lives that we are thirsting for that we think that, oh, if I get this, it will quench my thirst. Some of us are thirsting for love. Some of us are thirsting for companionship or we're thirsting for sex or we're thirsting for significance or status or possessions or money or things or a child or to be married. There's a lot of different things that we are thirsting for, not realizing that we can have our fill of all of those things, but at the end of the day, we can be filled, but we will not be fulfilled until we drink from what Jesus has to give us. So we need to understand that yes, we can thirst for all these things, but at the end of the day, it's what we're gonna get from on high that is truly gonna fulfill us and satisfy us. The third and final possible interpretation that scholars have offered throughout the years is that this represents Jesus' willingness to fully surrender and sacrifice his life to the Father's plan. You see, in Matthew 20 and 22, in John 18, 11, Jesus talks about this cup of suffering. He says, Father, is there any other way that this cup of suffering can pass from me? But Lord, if not, nevertheless, not my will, but let yours be done. And so this idea where he says, I thirst, it could mean that Jesus was saying, you know what? I am thirsting for this cup of suffering. I am ready to fulfill the divine purpose that you have placed on my life. Father, I know it's gonna hurt. Father, I know it's gonna be difficult. It's going to be painful, but I am thirsting for this. I am thirsting to fulfill your will, even in the midst of what I anticipate is gonna be the most difficult moments of my life. But here may be the real reason why Jesus requested something to drink. And it is more than likely because of the next two statements that Jesus is going to make from the cross. It is finished and Father, into my hands I commit your spirit. Because the Bible says that with these two final statements, Jesus said it with a loud voice. 
He wanted everyone around to hear that it is finished and that he was committing his spirit into the Father's hands. Could it be that Jesus was just simply saying, you know what, I want to make sure that my mouth and my tongue and my throat, everything is lubricated well because I have the most important announcement to make throughout the history of time and I want to make sure everyone here hears it. We'll talk about those two statements in the next couple videos.